I really didn't get yelled at or in trouble in BMT, but I do remember this one time, it was like, I don't know, second week or something, they like taught us how to do our hair, and I guess my hair was super frizzy that day. So the MTI that wasn't even mine, she was like in the office for some reason. I went in there and she, she looked at me, she saw my frizzy hair and she said, do you want to disrespect this uniform? Didn't I just teach you how to do your hair? And I was like, oh, like, oh my gosh, I was freaking out. I was like, no ma'am, I don't want to disrespect the uniform. It was, it was bad. It was bad. But honestly, like I said, I didn't really get yelled at. Personally, I don't think I got yelled at at all. It's mostly either a whole flight thing or it's a group. I mean, I didn't get yelled at personally as an individual. So I actually got yelled at a lot in BMT. The reason being was mainly I asked a lot of questions. I was really stressed out and wanted to make sure I was doing everything as right as possible. So I got yelled at a lot by MTIs. And I also actually got yelled at a lot by my flight. They were always on me about, you know, just ask somebody else, do what you gotta do. I didn't really know what I had to do. So try not to ask a lot of questions. If you do, ask the same person. That's my advice because then they'll kind of understand you. Try not to ask everybody in the flight because then they'll all end up thinking you're kind of dumb. First time I got yelled at was the like first day we were there that we got all of our stuff inspected. And it was like after we like took everything out and we like throw everything back in our security drawer like as fast as we could and lock it up. But like under pressure, I like could not think and I could not figure out how to open my lock or put it on my security drawer. So this officer like comes in, I'm like bed number two. He's like, bed number two. He's like, what are you doing? He's like, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. And I'm like, oh my God, like <laughs> I can't figure out how to lock my locker. And he's like up in my face yelling at me to hurry up. And I literally could not figure out how to do it. It was the scariest moment of my life. Like being the first day there, I was questioning my whole life. <laughs> Second time I got yelled at, um, we're doing details. It was pretty late in training. And um, I was out in the hallway cleaning the windows in when you're in PT gear and you're in our dorm, at least our MTIs didn't care if we had our hair down. And at that time, Brother Flight had a sub for an MTI and she was the scariest MTI that we've all ever met in our lives. Like everyone is so scared of her. I admire your honesty. And I see her sitting in there and I acknowledge that she's there and I see her look over at me and she gets up and I already know <laughs> what's about to go down. She gets up and comes out and she was like, What have we got here? Trainee. She's like, why is your hair down? She's like, you think you're special or something? She's like, get your hair up right now. And I'm just like, jump in a position of attention. And I'm like, yes, ma'am. And oh my God, she said something else. But at that point, like everything was black and I was like in space, like trying not to freak out. So that was scary. Didn't want to do that again. Didn't do that again. <laughs> the third time I got yelled at, um, it's when I was doing EC for baby flight. So it was the four to six shift. So it was baby flights, their first day at BMT. So we got to wake them up and stuff which was really exciting. It was like fifth week, I think. So with my best friend, we're on EC that shift and I've never met this MTI or anything, but we get a call from CQ and so say like, dormitory two alpha one, whatever. And he's like, like wake them up and then form them up in the day room against the wall. And apparently he told me which side of the wall to face them, but that part I didn't comprehend. So we woke him up. And we're just like trying to help him get in the day room as fast as possible. And he wanted me to form them up and like size them up against the wall. And so I'm like helping him. And he's the scariest dude I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> he's just super tall, super huge. And has like the deepest voice. And you don't even know what he's saying because it's so deep and scary. And he's yelling when he comes in. And he like, I had him faced up against the wrong side of the wall, I guess. So he came in and he was like, EC! He was like, now I have to do your job for you? He's like, what the hell? And yeah, he just got up in my face and like, that scared me. Like, he's so scary. Every time I saw him, I like hide. Like, it wasn't even that bad of a yell, but just he's such a scary dude. And that whole time I was kind of embarrassed because I was like an older week flight. So it was like, I messed up. I was like, oops. It was really awkward, <laughs> but whatever. Only two, even though I'm like tall, I didn't like, the MTI guys didn't notice me much, which is good until like later weeks. But like zero week when we were learning how to when we learned how to get in formation, stay in the position of attention, everything. I uh, forget what I did, but I moved in the position of attention. I forget why. And then our MTI yelled at us. Well, yelled at me. He's not the tallest dude, and I was the tallest guy in the flight. So he like tried to yell up 
but it didn't it didn't work very much. But he was just like, don't stand in the position of attention, but tried to give me like the knife hand like up. It was kind of funny. And the second time I moved the position of attention again, and he just did the same thing. So it was just twice. Not too bad. Personally, out of the entirety of basic training, like five times, I didn't get yelled at very often. Just don't be stupid. It's really easy not to get yelled at. All you have to do is shut up, which apparently is really hard for people. Shut up and follow simple instructions. If you do those two things, you will survive basic training and you will pass with flying colors. Personally, like being yelled at just directly to me, I wouldn't say too much, but as a flight, it was a lot. I did have my share of being yelled at as chat runner. Uh, definitely and here and there mistakes like small mistakes but actually not that I didn't get yelled at that much which I'm very thankful for personally that was about let's see memory work two times I think another time I got yelled at because I accidentally talked when we did our fire drill so I got lit for that so about three to four times personally two of those were due to memory because I couldn't remember chain of command it was like one person but his name was it was uh, Ekenrod. It was just a weird name I couldn't remember. But now I remember because I got shouted out for that. So I got lit. So.